Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD Simul for Four. So today, guys, let's talk about Messi to Inter Miami. So it's official, and Messi will be doing Inter Miami. So I'm going to talk about the, both the pros and cons, okay? Because trust me, there are both pros and cons for this. Let's start with the pros, right? Number one is that Messi will have Messi will be able to truly enjoy himself. See, um, I feel like if Messi was at Barcelona, he wouldn't truly be able to enjoy himself. There will be pressure upon him to perform. And I think there will be a certain expectation that, oh, you know, if he doesn't do well and this kind of stuff. Whereas in Mi Miami, it's just for vibes. You know, it's just to, you know, end his career on a high. Because like I said, he's already achieved football. He's already completed football. What is there more to achieve, you know? And we have to put that in consideration. Number two is that his lifestyle will be very good. People are not discussing about this, and people are looking at this purely from a sporting move. That, um, from a personal life standpoint, this is great. Miami is a very nice place. It's a very, very warm atmosphere. It's a very nice place. I've been to there a few times before in the past, and it's a very, very nice atmosphere. There's also a lot of Spanish-speaking people as well, which is why Messi is a, you know, very used to. He knows Spanish very well. You know, that's his main language. He doesn't really know English that well, so. For people questioning, oh, why didn't he join like Philadelphia? Why didn't he join Charlotte? Why didn't he join New York City FC? The reason why is because the Spanish uh, people are not as prevalent as the people in Miami. And so I think that's something we have to take in consideration, you know. And so, you know, what Messi wants to enjoy his life. And plus, he owns a private property in Miami. And so that's also another reason why he chose Miami, okay. Number three, okay. Another reason why he um, wanted to join um, here is that... Um, according to his interview, um, one of my friends actually told me about it. I didn't actually watch it myself, but he told me that we were discussing about this and that um, basically if he were to return to Barcelona, a, a lot of things would have to happen. You know, some player wages would have to be, you know, some players would have to be sold. The wages would have to be reduced. And there was just a lot of complicated stuff. It wasn't straightforward. Whereas if Messi just joins Miami, nothing would complicate would occur, you know. And so fi financially from that point of view, he didn't want to put more pressure on Barca, like, hey, um, if you want to get me, you're going to have to let go of their stuff, and, you know, it just be very complicated, you know, and I just think that for me, for Messi, like I said, guys, he's just looking at this from, like, a, um, a point of view that, um, let's just see what happens in Miami, you know, just see how, what we can do, and, like I said, this is huge, this is huge for America, because America's going to be hosting the next, um, Gold Cup, I'm sorry, next, wait, we're already hosting the next Gold Cup, but we're going to be hosting the next Copa America 2024, and that's going to be massive, you know, especially here in the United States. It'll be a great opportunity for us to globalize, and of course, we're going to be hosting the next World Cup as well, you know, and I just think that for me, Messi will have a huge say in that, you know. If you guys look at um, Enter Miami's Instagram, they've already got a million more followers, you know, they're going to increase their followers now, you know, and it's going to really help USA grow in that, um, the football aspect, you know, a lot more people take football seriously here in the United States, and is going to really, really help the USA grow. And, of course, you guys know I live in the USA. So I have the privilege and the ability to watch Lionel Messi live in person. And I'm going to very well try to do my best to do so because it's a very, very nice opportunity an opportunity that probably I won't ever get in my life. You know, I've never seen Messi play um, for my eyes before. And, you know, and so, like I said, it'll be very, very nice. You know, obviously, I also, I hope, I've been following MLS. So you guys know that um, MLS has been, um, I've been starting to watch a couple of games here and there. It's been pretty fun and exciting, you know. Um, you guys know Charlotte. I've done some short reviews. You guys have seen the channel. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you guys, I keep up to date with you guys and the Charlotte games and stuff like that. And it's it's very interesting, you know. And now he'll be playing against my club, which is a, a very um, <laughs> scary thing to witness, you know. Um, and so, like I said, now let's talk about the cons. Um, number one, I think for Messi, I think this pretty much effectively means that he's probably done. I don't think he's going to come back to Europe. I think this indicates to him that me that he's pretty much done his entire career in Europe and that now he's just ready to move on. You know, he's probably going to retire there into Miami, you know, and I just think that for him in particular, it's probably for the best, you know. Another thing that also sucks about this is that, um, like I said earlier, Messi won't have that farewell return. He won't have that return that he wanted at Barcelona. He didn't have the uh, farewell that he deserved because, like I said, guys, he is the best Barcelona player ever in their history and the fact that he didn't get the proper send off is going to be something that will 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 hurt a lot of fans. A lot of fans will not like it. A lot of people will not like it, and it's very very disappointing, you know. And finally, number three, the last con I have with this is the fact that, um, 
you know, people are going to make fun of Messi. You know, that that's something that's going to suck. You know, a lot of people are going to make fun and say, oh, you're going to, you know, MLS now, a Finnish league and stuff like that. And my, like, you know, there will be criticism, of course, you know. Um, but, of course, it's Messi. You know, Messi doesn't really care about the criticism. He's a player that, you know, is just wants to be just about himself. You know, he doesn't care what other people think. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Like I said, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Like I said, guys, I'm both sad and happy. And like I said, guys, it's a very interesting decision. And hopefully Messi can do well at MLS because, like I said, guys, it'll be very, very nice to see here. And obviously, um, it'll also be sad to see what Messi could have done at Barca. But like I said, though, I think it's for the best. I think it's for the best. That Messi enjoy it from a, his personal life. And, of course, I think a sporting-wise, I think MLS can um, offer you, um, can help you um, just, like, have a competitive aspect and not be, like, fully, fully competitive, you know? So... Like I said, guys, I um, hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Remember, guys, to like and subscribe. Comment up with your thoughts, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And, yeah, make sure you guys continue to become a member. Turn on notifications to be notified when I go live. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.